need to pause for a moment because she doesn't actually exist. As a matter of fact, none of these models exist, but they're all being monetized on TikTok, Instagram, and OnlyFans. Today I'm going to show you how to utilize three different AI tools to create these AI influencers for yourself, but we're going to go a step further by actually animating them and creating hyper-realistic, lifelike videos as well. The very first thing we need to do is go over to Midjourney. So open up Discord and we need to create our own server. Either on the very top or in my case the very bottom, you'll see the add a server button. We'll click on create my own and then we'll just do for friends and family. Now we're going to name our server, let's just say IG influencer because that's what we're going to be creating initially is the Instagram influencer. Go ahead and click on create and then we actually need to create our channel that we're going to be generating, let's say our head shots in so we'll create a new channel and just name it headshots now once we've created that channel we actually need to go to the mid journey discord server and we need to ensure that the member list is showing on the right side there will be a little silhouette icon on the top that'll either hide or show the member list but go ahead and click on the mid journey bot and it'll be a little button called add to server so we're actually going to add this mid journey bot to our new ig influencer server go ahead and click on confirm click on authorized you can unclick any of those that you wish there'll be a little human uh, verification check and it'll send us right back to the channel now you'll notice in the top right we have our mid journey bot in our server next we need to actually grab a source image this is going to be what we train our AI model on or what we train our mid journey model on so go ahead and just go over to Google and find an image that you like or a headshot you want to make sure that the headshot is front facing to the camera high enough clarity so the AI model can actually determine the facial features uh, let's just say for this uh, we can probably use this one right here so we'll go ahead and open it and then we'll go ahead and just right click and save that image to our computer it should be noted that making different files or folders to store the pre-swap and the post swap images and target videos is going to be very very helpful. At this point, we can go back into Midjourney once we've acquired our headshot, and we're going to type slash describe. It'll prompt us to do slash describe image, and you'll notice that a blank drag and drop for an image pops up in your Midjourney window. We're going to take what we just downloaded or saved to our computer and simply drop it into Midjourney and hit enter. What this is going to do is Midjourney is actually going to analyze the photo or the image that we gave it and it's going to give three or four descriptive prompts as you see here for that image. These are going to be what we use to actually generate our secondary source image. So we're going to go ahead and click on imagine all down below the image and it's going to start spitting out these prompts with a set of images for each one. Once Midjourney has completed loading all four of those descriptions with their images, we should have four sets of four headshots each for a total of 16 headshots to choose from. I think honestly the first set of four is my favorite with number two being the one I'm going to go with personally. So we're going to upscale number two and then scroll down. Once this loads, we're simply going to click into it for the full resolution and then save this image to our computer. Computer. This is going to be our source image. Next, we need to grab some more images because no IG influencer only has one image. So we need to be able to continuously generate images and face swap the images while making it all very hyper realistic. So we're going to go over to cart.ai and we're going to grab a redheaded model since the redhead is our initial source image. Let's go ahead and start with this. But the cool thing about cart is this try button. We're going to click on the try button and it's actually going to give us the entire prompt for that image. So let's go ahead and plug that in and see what it generates. 
Upon completion, Sea Art will give us two options, but it can get really, really cool from here. If we copy the initial prompt and just make a few tweaks or a few changes, in this case, let's just say not sitting on a porch, so we'll take that out, and let's just say sitting on a swing. We'll also change the outfit or the clothing, so let's just say a black dress, and because it's no longer the white t-shirt, we need to take this part out as well. So let's go ahead and plug that in, and generate some more images using this exact model. As you can see, we have a multitude of generatives using that same initial prompt. What we want to do now is go through, right click, and save each one of these to their own folder. Now I recommend naming this like a pre-swap folder, that way you know what you have as your pre-swap images, and then of course as your post-swap images as well, because we're going to be making all of these revolve around our initial source image. Down in the description of this video, there's going to be a GitHub link. It's going to take you to this repository. You're going to want to scroll all the way down until you reach the section labeled step-by-step -step guide. In number two, there's going to be a link that'll allow you to add this bot to your mid-journey server. Go ahead and go through, choose the server that you just created, continue, authorize and there's going to be a quick verification to make sure you're human once you do that it'll lead you right back to your server now if that's successfully imported to discord you should see the insight face swap on the top right of your discord server let's go ahead and create a new text channel and we'll just name this id swap now we need to do two things here the first is we need to actually set the id so we're going to set the id let's just name it ig model now it's going to open this image drop box for you much like before and this is where we want to insert our initial source image from our describe feature so we're going to insert that and it'll save the id as that image that initial source image will be our reference now we want to slash swap id and enter the ig model as the tag we want to swap as and then we can go and grab from CArt one of our initial images. Once we grab this image and swap the ID, it will generate the image that we're swapping with our original source image. Here's the original and the swapped. At this point, we want to build a database or files of all of the images that we want to face swap. So go ahead and just run through on the swap ID on Midjourney and just swap all of your original source images over onto the CArt images that we downloaded. At this point, we're ready to start doing the really cool stuff, and that is fully animating our models and turning them into videos that we can use for any of those further platforms. So we went over to TikTok and just grabbed a target video, a target video of really anyone dancing, because we just need to train the model on the dancing aspect itself. Now, when you first get in, you're going to click on Clone Roop Repo. That's going to be the very first place button that you see on the top of the page. Once you've done that, we're going to go ahead and drag and drop not only our source images, but also our target video. The target video is going to be the one that we downloaded from TikTok, and you can use any TikTok video downloader to accomplish that. I personally like to use SnapTik for that. It allows you to just easily download any TikTok video without the watermark. And all we need is just a video of someone dancing and the deep fake generator or this uh, Google Collab notebook will do the rest for us. Once you've uploaded those, go ahead and just click on the play button under download model. This will download the deep fake model into your open collab workspace. Now we actually get down to the deep fake part. This cell is going to be where all of the magic happens. Now inside of your cell, if you happen to have output video quality, go ahead and just delete that as you see that I do. Go ahead and copy the target video path and it shows that we're plugging it into target. So we're going to plug that into target instead of the previous default that was there. And then we're going to take our original source image. We're going to copy that path and we're going to plug that or paste that into source. Once you've done both of those, go ahead and just run the cell. It takes about six or seven minutes for a six or seven second clip. 
And here we have it. On the left, you can see the original video, and on the right, you can see our AI trained video that is entirely fake. That is not a real person. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like the video, subscribe, and stick around because there are a lot more in depth AI tutorials to come.